Peace be upon you all. Welcome back, this is Chaplain Abdul Rahim. This channel is where we explore the amazing things in our world through both faith and science. Today we're going on a journey into nature to see the amazing connections that make life possible. Imagine a hidden world beneath our feet, a secret network that silently keeps our ecosystems alive and well. Let's dive into the fascinating world of mycelium, the hidden network of fungi that's super important for our planet's health. Underneath the soil, there's a huge network of fungal threads called mycelium. It's like an underground internet for plants and trees, helping them talk to each other and share important stuff. This hidden network is incredibly important for keeping our planet healthy. Mycelium acts like a highway, allowing plants to share food, water, and even warnings about bugs and diseases. Through this network, trees can help each other out when they need it most. The idea of interconnectedness is a big part of Islam. The Quran tells us about the perfect balance and harmony in nature, showing how everything is connected. Allah says in the Quran, and we have made everything on earth as an adornment for it, so that we may test them as to which of them is best indeed. Quran 18.7. This verse reminds us that everything in creation has a purpose and a job to do. As Muslims we're supposed to take care of the earth, protecting its resources and respecting the balance of nature. Deep underground a silent symphony of connections is always happening. Mycelium is like a giant communication network, helping plants exchange resources and information. Through this network, different kinds of trees can talk to each other, sharing important things like water and nutrients. This amazing system of cooperation shows the wisdom and balance in nature. Mycelium also protects plants from getting sick by acting like an early warning system. Mycelium helps plants absorb nutrients better, acting like an extension of their roots. These fungal threads can get into even the tiniest spaces in the soil, reaching nutrients that plant roots can't. Mycelium is really good at getting phosphorus, a nutrient that's often trapped in the soil. In return for these nutrients, plants give mycelium sugars they make from sunlight. This helpful partnership is super important for many plants to be healthy and grow strong. This idea of partnerships is really important in Islam too. The Quran talks about how everything is connected and how important balance and harmony are in nature. In Surah Al-An'am, Allah says, There is not an animal that lives on the earth nor a being that flies on its wings but forms part of communities like you. Quran 6, 38. This verse shows us that all living things are part of connected communities. The partnership between plants and mycelium reminds us of these important teachings. Mycelium is really important for keeping our planet's ecosystems healthy, strong, and full of different life forms. The tiny threads of mycelium act like glue, making the soil stronger and creating a better environment for plants. Mycelium also helps break down dead plants and animals, releasing important nutrients back into the soil. This helps fight climate change by trapping carbon in the ground. It shows how everything in nature is connected, even the smallest things help keep our planet healthy. The way mycelium and plants work together reminds us of the Islamic values of unity, cooperation, and helping each other. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, talked about how important it is for Muslims to be united and help each other. He said, The believers are like one body in their mutual love, mercy, and compassion. If one part of the body suffers the entire body feels the pain, Sahih al-Bukhari. This idea goes beyond just people and includes all the living things that keep us alive. As Muslims we're reminded that our actions affect not just ourselves but also the balance of nature. Mycelium could be a solution to some of our biggest environmental problems. Scientists are realizing how amazing mycelium is at cleaning up pollution. It can break down harmful stuff in the environment, like heavy metals and oil. Mycelium offers a natural way to heal our planet. Cutting down too many trees is causing serious damage to the important mycelial networks underground. Deforestation is like cutting the threads of this hidden web of life, and it has bad consequences for our planet's balance. 
The delicate mycelial networks, which took decades to grow, are being ripped apart, disrupting the communication and nutrient exchange systems. Without trees, the soil is exposed to the harsh elements, its structure weakens, and its ability to hold water and nutrients is compromised. Deforestation fragments the forest, isolating plant populations and making them more susceptible to disease, pests, and environmental stress. The consequences of deforestation go far beyond just losing trees. They impact the entire ecosystem and contribute to the global climate crisis that threatens our planet's future. The intricate web of life woven together by countless interactions between organisms is thrown into disarray as a vital link in the chain is broken. Without forest cover the balance of the water cycle is disrupted. Trees act like natural sponges, absorbing rainfall and releasing moisture slowly back into the atmosphere. Deforestation disrupts this balance leading to more floods and droughts. The lifeblood of the ecosystem once flowing steadily is now prone to unpredictable surges and devastating shortages. Deforestation also contributes to climate change. Trees help regulate the Earth's climate by absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. When forests are cleared and burned, this stored carbon is released back into the atmosphere, making global warming worse. It's a dangerous cycle where destroying forests fuels the very forces that threaten their existence. The loss of biodiversity is another terrible consequence of deforestation. Forests are home to a vast majority of the world's land-based plants and animals. As forests are cleared, countless species lose their homes and are driven towards extinction. The tapestry of life, woven over millions of years, is unraveling thread by thread. The excessive deforestation and environmental damage we see today go against the Islamic principles of balance, moderation, and taking care of the earth. The Quran, our divine guidance, repeatedly emphasizes the importance of respecting the balance of creation and warns against the dangers of excess and exploitation. In Surah Ar-Rum, Allah states, Corruption has appeared throughout the land and sea by reason of what the hands of people have earned, so he may let them taste part of the consequence of what they have done that perhaps they will return to righteousness. This verse reminds us that our actions have consequences and that exploiting the natural world will have negative repercussions for both humanity and the environment. The Quran also emphasizes the importance of moderation in using resources. In Surah Al-Araf, Allah instructs, O children of Adam, take your adornment at every masjid, and eat and drink, but be not excessive. Indeed, he likes not those who commit excess. This verse highlights the importance of balance and mindfulness in our interactions with the natural world, urging us to take only what we need, and avoid wasteful practices that deplete resources and disrupt the balance of creation. As Muslims, we are entrusted with the responsibility of being Khalifas or stewards of the earth. This role requires us to act as guardians and caretakers of the natural world, preserving its resources, respecting its limits, and ensuring its well-being for present and future generations. The rampant deforestation and environmental destruction we witness today represent a betrayal of this sacred trust, a deviation from the Islamic principles of balance, moderation, and responsible stewardship. The consequences of deforestation reach far beyond the forests themselves, impacting communities and ecosystems worldwide. One of the most alarming consequences is the threat to global food security, as the very foundation of our agricultural systems is undermined by the loss of these vital ecosystems. Forests play a crucial role in regulating local and regional climates, influencing rainfall patterns, temperature, and soil fertility. Deforestation disrupts these balances, leading to more extreme weather events such as droughts and floods, which can devastate crops and livestock, jeopardizing the livelihoods of millions of people who depend on agriculture for their survival. The very land that once provided sustenance is now at risk of becoming barren and unproductive. Moreover, deforestation can lead to the loss of pollinators, such as bees, butterflies, and birds, which play a crucial role in fertilizing crops. As forests are cleared, these vital pollinators lose their habitats and sources of food, leading to a decline in their populations and a corresponding decrease in crop yields. The intricate web of life where even the smallest creatures play a vital role is disrupted, threatening the very foundation of our food systems. The loss of forests also contributes to soil erosion and degradation, as the protective cover of trees and the intricate network of roots and mycelia are removed, leaving the soil vulnerable to wind and rain. 
This loss of fertile topsoil reduces agricultural productivity, making it more difficult to grow the food we need to sustain a growing global population. The very ground beneath our feet, once a source of life and abundance, is being eroded away, jeopardizing our ability to feed ourselves. Amidst the concerning realities of deforestation, a glimmer of hope emerges from the ground beneath our feet. Just as mycelium regenerates ecosystems, we can heal and renew, working in harmony with nature. Our journey begins with a shift in perspective, rediscovering our interconnectedness with nature. For too long, we have viewed ourselves as separate from nature. This illusion has fueled a sense of entitlement, exploiting Earth's resources. But the consequences remind us we are part of nature. Restoring our connection begins with gratitude for the air, water, and food. By acknowledging our dependence, we appreciate nature's true value. This gratitude fosters responsibility to protect and preserve. As we reconnect we see ourselves as partners in life's symphony. Just as mycelium supports the forest we play a role in maintaining our planet's health. Our actions, however small, have ripple effects on the web of life. Recognizing our interconnectedness with nature is not enough. We must translate this understanding into concrete actions that protect and restore our planet's vital ecosystems. Just as mycelium tirelessly works to connect and nourish the forest, we too must become active participants in the healing and regeneration of our Earth. Our task is not to control nature but to collaborate with it, to nurture the delicate balance that sustains life. One of the most impactful actions we can take is to support the protection and restoration of our planet's forests. Deforestation, driven by unsustainable logging practices, agricultural expansion and urban development, continues to fragment and destroy these vital ecosystems at an alarming rate. By advocating for stronger forest conservation policies, supporting sustainable forestry practices, and making conscious consumer choices that reduce our demand for products that contribute to deforestation, we can help slow and eventually reverse this destructive trend. Beyond protecting existing forests, we can also actively participate in reforestation efforts, working to restore degraded lands and reconnect fragmented ecosystems. Planting trees, particularly native species that support local biodiversity, can help sequester carbon, improve soil health, regulate water cycles, and provide habitat for countless species. These reforestation efforts undertaken on a large scale have the potential to mitigate climate change, restore degraded landscapes, and enhance the resilience of our planet's ecosystems. It's about weaving back the tapestry of life, thread by thread. Our efforts to nurture our planet's mycelial networks extend beyond the forests themselves. In our own backyards and communities, we can adopt practices that support healthy soil ecosystems, recognizing the vital role that fungi play in maintaining soil fertility, nutrient cycling, and overall ecological balance. The challenges facing our planet may seem daunting, but even the smallest actions, multiplied by millions, can create a ripple effect of positive change. Just as a single spore can give rise to a vast network of mycelium, our individual efforts can transform our relationship with the natural world. The key is to never underestimate the power of collective action. Our journey towards a sustainable future begins with education and awareness. By sharing our knowledge about the interconnectedness of life and the consequences of deforestation, we can inspire others to join us in becoming stewards of the earth. Engage in conversations with families, friends, and communities, raising awareness and encouraging sustainable practices. Knowledge is a seed, when shared it can flourish. Support organizations working to protect forests and promote sustainable agriculture. By donating time, resources, or expertise, we can amplify their impact. Every act of service adds to the collective momentum towards a sustainable future. Sustainability is about creating a world where both people and planet can thrive. Addressing social justice, economic inequality, and access to resources is crucial. By working towards a just and equitable world, we can tackle the root causes of environmental problems. As we conclude our exploration into the hidden world of mycelium, we emerge with a profound sense of awe at the intricate connections that bind all life on Earth. The delicate threads of mycelium weave through the soil, serving as a metaphor for the interdependence of all living things. 
We are integral parts of a vast, interconnected web of life. Just as mycelium facilitates communication and resource sharing, fostering cooperation within the forest, we too must nurture connections with one another. Our well-being is linked to the well-being of others. The challenges we face, climate change, environmental degradation, social injustice, are symptoms of a deeper disconnect. We must remember our interconnectedness with each other and the natural world. The Quran emphasizes this interconnectedness, reminding us that all creation is bound in a delicate balance. In Surah Al-An'am, Allah SWT states, and do not commit abuse on the earth, spreading corruption. This verse reminds us that our actions have consequences for the entire web of life. When we harm the environment, we harm ourselves and future generations. The lessons of mycelium extend beyond ecology, offering insights into the nature of existence. Just as mycelium thrives in darkness, transforming decay into new life, we can find hope and renewal amidst challenges. Embrace our interconnectedness, recognizing we are not alone in this journey. The key lies in embracing our interconnectedness, recognizing that we are not alone in this journey. As we reflect on the wonders of the mycelial web, we are reminded of our responsibility as stewards of creation, safeguarding the delicate balance of life for present and future generations. This is a sacred trust, an honor bestowed upon us by our Creator. Our role begins with humility, recognizing we are participants in a grand symphony of life. Just as mycelium connects and nourishes the forest, we must protect and restore the natural world. By making conscious choices, we ensure the health and vitality of our planet for generations to come.